Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a monitor to a churn prediction model that is running in production and already integrated with Aporia. Every Aporia model has two parts, detection, which indicates the kind of anomalous behavior we want to detect, and action, what we'd like to do once an issue has been detected. Aporia offers a range of detection options, from data drift to prediction drift, missing values, and more. I want to create a data drift monitor. The first step is configuring the baseline that the monitor will use. For example, I can choose to compare the model's behavior over the past day with its behavior over the previous three weeks. Or I can compare different segments, like California residents versus the rest of the data. Or I could compare it to the training data. I choose Change Over Time and start to fine-tune the monitor for my specific use case. I'll compare the model's behavior over the past day to its behavior over the previous three weeks. To minimize false positives, I use Aporia's drift scoring, choosing a threshold between 0 and 100%. Now let's set the actions we want. First, I add a description. Then I decide which channels the alert will be issued on and who receives it. That's it. I just need to name my monitor and we're done. The monitor is now up and running. For model management, I keep an eye on the dashboard. If and when drift occurs, I'll see it light up in real time. And I'll get a message to my Slack. For more info, visit aporia.com.